Good evening, this is Gabriel Jackton, and welcome to BJC. Halacha day number 1467, Halacha day keeps the eights our way. Once again, dedicated for a refuah shalima, speedy healing for my mother, Faye Waskolda. Her broken arm should feel so much better, and she should be back to herself in no time. Mom, this one's for you. So I'm continuing with the chapter entitled Some of the Malachas, Types of Work that are Prohibited on Shabbos. It is forbidden to remove honey from a beehive. You might be tempted, but you cannot do that. We'll see why in a second. It is also forbidden to crush honeycombs, even if they were remo removed from the hive before Shabbos. If the honeycomb was not crushed before Shabbos, the honey that flows from it on Shabbos is forbidden. But honey flowing from the hive itself is permitted to be eaten on Shabbos. Let's see some footnotes here. So the sages hold that this act is not prohibi prohibited by biblical law, but is rabbinically imposed. The Rambam, Maimonides, um, agree. The Chachamim maintain that a beehive has the status of something that is attached to the ground and is therefore to forbidden to detach on Shabbos. If you crush the honeycomb before Shabbos, you may use the honey that flows from the comb on Shabbos, even though it is still connected to the hive. Crushing before Shabbos must be thorough. Otherwise, you may not use the honey on Shabbos, lest you come to further crush the comb. And uh, that's your halacha. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Future Halacha 36. One inch of the gold. We'll see you tomorrow.